Good day to you, my A-level P students. Some of you might be AS students, some of you might be A2 students. If you're not sure exactly where to study this material on Newton's Laws, just check on mypeexam.org and you'll be able to find out where this fits into your learning. Okay, so look, this topic I find has been kind of, uh, or it has on the face of it kind of a confusing perspective, but in reality is actually very simple in its construct. So we're going to try and sort of uh, debug and determ these concepts of Newton's laws of motion and try and make them nice and simple for you. I've, put, I've taken the liberty of putting some details in so we don't, you don't have to spend hours watching me write in definition. So let's get started straight away with Newton's first law of motion or what we're going to refer to as N1. So let me read it to you first of all. An object, that might be a golf ball, a runner, it could be it's literally anything in our uh, reality. An object will continue in a state of constant velocity until compelled to change by an external force. So let's actually address the first things first. What do we mean by constant velocity? Well, it could mean something which is still. Okay, so let's take this golf ball here. It is completely still on that T. It is at constant velocity, that velocity being zero meters per second. Equally, it could be something which is moving at a steady pace. So think about Mo Farah here, he's running in that direction in the London Olympic Stadium, and he's moving at a pace which is consistent. That is also a concept of constant velocity okay he's not accelerating he's not decelerating so anything that isn't accelerating or decelerating is at constant velocity we like to use what appears to be quite uh, an interesting term we like to we like the term zero net force now when you first hear that you might think what does that mean if you haven't done much physics before but all net means it means total force so it means that all the forces acting on this ball are effectively zero